that uh, is what the audience is seeing. So okay. we're kind of doing this shot as an opening, and we'll we'll just riff for you know 30 seconds or so as <clears throat> as the live stream starts kind of loading up and everybody tunes in, and then we'll go live. Okay, sounds good. And can we start off talking a little bit about history of the company and, yeah, and all absolutely. that? Okay, cool. That's a good place to start. So that's it. I like it. I like it when they don't even tell me they're hitting the button. They're like, "Do you want to hit the button?" I'm like, "Yeah, I want to hit the button." And then we start talking, and then you know, and apparently we're live. So okay, there you go. So here we are. How about that? Live from Shot Show. This is Gun Talk Live, presented by Palmetto State Armory. Thanks for being with us today. Right now, we've got Galco Gun Leather with us. Mike Barham from Gun Galco. You probably know Galco. I mean. There's a long history there of making holsters. There, there really is. Uh, the company was actually founded a little over 50 years ago, 1969. Um, originally, it was a very small shop in Chicago, Illinois. Okay. And at the time, uh, the founder, Rick Gallagher, was working with all kinds of leather things, not just holsters. Okay. Um, you know, it was 1969. It was kind of the hippie era. Uh, so he was making everything from leather pants and vests and uh, wrist cuffs and bracelets and, and the <laughs> le uh, yeah. wallets and everything yeah. like that. Hopefully the 60s leather jackets. With, with the, the fringe, the yeah. fringe. Yeah, th th that's a totally. real thing. That's a real thing. <laughs> he, he made those. <laughs> made by Galco. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, it was back then it was called the famous Jackass Leather Company. <laughs> awesome name. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So he, eventually that became kind of politically incorrect, and he yeah. had to change it to Galco, which is the great American leather company that we know and love today. So, um, <laughs> I mean, our, I know our audience, the Gun Talk audience, I mean, we're holster geeks here. I mean, ev you know, big well, unconcealed carry. Like geeks? Well, you, holster nerds? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. We'll, we'll roll with it. So uh, you brought a whole table full of goodies for us. I did. I mean, I don't even know where to start here. Where do you want to start? Well, this is our, all our new stuff um, that we're showing here at the SHOT Show. And this morning, the, the biggest hit, actually, is a brand new product called the Fast Tracks Pack, which is a waste pack. Okay. And as you're probably aware, being the very fashionable guy that you are. <laughs> of course. You know, hair and suits. <laughs> um, that, you know, the waste pack thing kind of went away for a while. But, yeah. but everything goes in cycles. You know, years ago we made waste packs called uh, the Escort, and that did well for us. Mm -hmm. um, but those things kind of faded away for like the last 10, 12 years. But now they've really come back um, with a vengeance. I see a lot of people wearing them. Um, I live in Phoenix. Uh, I see guys wearing them everywhere in Phoenix. And it's helpful when it comes back and people are wearing them, for those of us who are concealed carrying, so it's like, cool, you people got are wearing it. these, right. so it's just a waste pack. Now we have another option, yeah. you know, to, to add to our holster wardrobe so we can stay adequately armed all the time. And yeah. that's obviously one of Galco's heavy emphasis, you know, be adequately armed all the time. You were just demonstrating this to me, and this has a really cool way of deploying the gun. It does, it does. So the way the Fast Tracks works is that it has this pivoting holster component. It's an adjustable holster component. It'll, it can be sized to fit everything down to a small 380, like a Ruger LCP, okay. and on up to a double stack gun, like a Glock 26, something like that. But the way the pivoting action works is that you pull on this activation cord, and that pivots the gun up. It pulls so the gun out of the pack. Right. It pivots it right out so you don't have to dig around in the pack. It's rather that the gun is presented for you for a, just an easy, instant firing grip and an instant draw. And it's fast. It is very fast. Uh, like everything else, it's going to require a little bit of practice. But unzipping, pulling the activation cord, you can get the gun into action very fast, way faster than the older style legacy fanny packs that required you to kind of dig around inside yeah. the pocket to get to the grip of the gun. Yeah, and it can get hung up when you're trying to draw Exactly, all so all that's eliminated with that pivoting holster. So what's this one called? It's called the Fast Tracks Pack. Okay, Fast Tracks. And it, it, uh, it's also extremely comfortable. I just want to point out, you know, when you have this amount of fabric laying against you, especially on a hot day, or maybe you're in the gym, you're out for a run, something yeah. like that. Uh, but this has a breathable mesh on the back, so it's really, really comfortable against your body as well, even on those really hot days. You know, like I mentioned, I'm from Phoenix, so, yep. you know, we get some, we get some heat down there. Days. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, um, so we wanted it to be really comfortable, so we used this breathable mesh on the back. It's actually called a comfort cloth. 
Um, and it just works great. It's just extremely comfortable and again, very, very fast into action. It's also real trim. It's not bulky like the old school fanny packs. It, it is, it is. And you know, even our older fanny packs were like what you're describing. They were kind of big, kind of obvious. Mm -hmm. You know, we think this actually works better as a true concealment method yeah. because like you mentioned, it is very compact, it's very slender. Uh, you know, as you can see, it's just, it's not thick front to back or anything. Um, neoprene front face, we got um, the little device that allows you to run your, uh, the cable for your, okay, your, your earbuds, like earbuds through there, stuff. right? Okay. So you put your phone in there and you know, you can catch your music while you're working out or just walking around town. If you want to look really covert, then you've got your earbuds and just like, yeah. I got one of those big iPhones that, you know, I got to have a pack for. There you go, there you go, <laughs> but hey, you can carry that there too. Now, so. what else do we have here? Okay, this is another new product um, that we just released here at the show. Uh, this is called the Jack Slide 2.0, and we call it the 2.0 because years ago, back in the 70s, 80s, even into the 90s, uh, we made the original version of this, which mm -hmm. was made of all leather. Now, the issue with that one was it rides between your belt and your pants, so when you drew the gun, yep. the holster itself would collapse Close, flat. Yep. So to get the gun back in, you'd have to loosen your belt and all that and kind of mess around with it. So for the 2.0 version, though, we've done it with Kydex, so now you have a hard shell. Right, so you have this rigid shell, this rigid holster pocket, so that when you draw the gun, the pressure from the belt won't collapse the holster, so that you can easily return to the holster without yeah. loosening your belt or doing anything like that. Yeah, there, you know, there have been over the years those solutions of, well, you can draw it, but then you can't really reholster it. Yeah. And that's frustrating, especially for anyone who's going to the range and trying to do some drills and practicing with it. Certainly, if you're in any kind of training environment, you need to be able to return to the holster. Yeah. You know, sometimes that might be a little less important when you're on the street, so to right. speak. Um, you know, if your gun comes out, probably the police are going to be showing up eventually anyway. Um, but it's a, it's a great feature to have, um, and we're very happy with the way this turned out in terms of the rigidity and easy holstering. It's and it's so it's just nothing there. It's very uh, trim. I mean, there's as far as a holster goes, it's like tiny. <laughs> it, it is, and and one of the cool advantages is that if you do need to go in a non-permissive environment where you're not allowed to have your gun, you can just take the gun out, and if anybody sees this on your belt. Well, yeah. what is nobody's going to recognize this as a holster. You know, and then you return to your car, whatever, get your gun, put it back in, you're ready to go. Well, and you mention it, but I'm going to mention it again because I think it's a cool thing. It goes between your belt and your pants, not, right. not inside the waistband. Correct, correct. So it's going to ride, your belt's going to ride over it, yeah. but the gun itself will be outside your pants. So yeah. between your belt and your pants. And that gives you about 80, 85% of the concealment advantages of an IWB but without the disadvantage of having to buy bigger pants That's it. to accommodate the gun in the holster. Yeah. So it's a great solution for anybody who doesn't want to adjust their pants, um, buy new, uh, you know, a whole new wardrobe basically yep. to carry their gun. Yeah. And by the Jack Slide 2.0, boom, you got great concealment, but without having to buy new clothes. I like it. Now, Galco, in my mind, one of the things you guys always did well were shoulder rigs, shoulder holsters. Right. And you said you have a new one here. We do, we do. And you are maybe, and certainly viewers are gonna be familiar with that old TV show, Miami Vice, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, and Galco had a great sort of partnership with that show and with Don Johnson, the star of the show. Uh, one of our original jackass rigs was what he carried his Bren 10 and later right. uh, Smith & Wesson pistols in. And we've kind of updated for the 21st century gun carrier. It's a similar horizontal design, but this one is a hybrid design with a Kydex holster pocket again. You've seen that a lot. I mean, there's a theme here. <laughs> there yes. is, there is. So you got the Kydex holster pocket. Um, it's leather against the body. Yeah, comfortable. Yeah, and it has a couple of retention devices. It has this pivoting hood. And then inside the holster, you'll see that there's a passive retention device as well. So it kind of it gives some tension on it Correct, the gun in there. right on the trigger guard. And so you get retention from that. You can hear it click in. Yep. And then if you need the extra retention, you can pivot the hood down as well. Okay. And on the off side, double magazine carrier, carries them horizontally, which we find is the quickest access, you know, reaching across the body like so when yeah. you're gonna do an emergency reload, uh, rather than messing around with flaps and things like that. So the open front and horizontal magazine carriers really are the way to go in terms of speed and also comfort under the arm because they lay a little flatter than something that yeah. has flaps on it. 
All right, so we are live. If you have any questions for Mike at Galco, any holster questions, concealed carry questions, Mike's actually a, a good shooter and does a lot of classes and knows his stuff. You know, chime in and let us know what questions you have. I know KJ's over there monitoring comments, so we can kind of try to answer those for you. Um, so a couple other things. Yeah, let's, let's, let's talk. Let's talk about this inside the waistband holster. This is our newest IWB. This is our Quick Tuck Cloud. And this, again, is that hybrid holster with yep. the Kydex pocket on the back. And we've used the same comfort cloth on the back of this. Really soft. Yeah, yeah, very, very breathable, very soft, very comfortable to wear against your body. Same stuff we use on the back of mm -hmm. the Fast Tracks pack. Um, very moisture resistant, all that. Very, very comfortable to wear. Um, we had a bunch of guys wearing these in the summertime in Phoenix, yep. kind, of, kind of beta testing them in the field and uh, just with great results. I was one of the guys wearing them. Um, so yeah, it works great. Um, full uh, firing grip, Kydex holster pocket gives you all the speed advantages and reholstering advantages yep. that, you, that you don't get with some softer bodied holsters. And you got the clip that is kind of easy on off. That's, I was gonna mention that. That's one thing that I noticed it, that I like because I like to be able to put it on, take it off, and not have to undo my belt and all that stuff. You, you know, got this it. little one single clip. Now people say, does it hold it in place? Does it move around? It it, it it holds it in place great, actually. And what you got to remember about inside the waistband holsters is that a lot of that stability and retention comes actually from the pressure of the belt against your body, right? Rather than any particular property in the holster. Uh, the actual, the, the breathable mesh on the back actually keeps it from shifting as well, which okay. is which is very helpful versus a, like a smooth piece of leather. Yeah, this is this has some texture to it. It's exactly, not, it's and not slippery. The, exactly, and that keeps it from shifting as well. Um, but one of the we've made uh, a similar holster called the King Tuck. Yep, for a, for a number of years, yep. and that one has the clip on either side of the gun, which some people found was a little bit clumsy to take on and off. And a lot of people asked us, well, why don't you just make it with one clip? Yeah. And originally we designed this with the clip on the back, but that actually caused some diving and things like that, oh, okay. a little instability. But once we moved the clip to the front, we solved all that. Gotcha. So it's very, very quick, convenient on and off. Gotcha. Um, and very, very easy to use. A question. We got a question. We got a question Excuse coming me. in. Um, Thad asks, uh, what type of uh, concealed carry do you recommend for a fat man? Asking for a friend. <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> well, as far as uh, the more heavy set gentleman, um, and and we have a number. His friend. His friend. Uh, his friend. Uh, yes. Yes. Well, and I have a number of heavy set friends as well, and we have some who work at Galco. Um, <laughs> generally, um, heavy set guys are going to be better off probably avoiding inside the waistband holsters unless they really want to accommodate, like we mentioned, you know, getting larger belts, larger pants, things yeah. like that. We find most heavy set guys are going to be best off with a belt holster, okay. um, typically worn somewhere on outside the strong the side. Yeah, outside the waistband. Um, as much as we like to recommend shoulder holsters, um, bigger guys often have trouble reaching across the body to grab the gun. Yeah. So we generally recommend they avoid those. But for most heavy set guys, the best solution is going to be a belt holster outside the belt worn on the strong side. What are some of the trends that you guys are seeing? Because, boy, we love to argue about ways to carry, right? Yep. Types of holsters and, and the, appendix carry and all this you know, cross body stuff. And I'm glad you mentioned appendix carry when we're talking about trends. Uh, that has certainly been a strong trend over mm -hmm. the, the little at least the last five years. Yeah. Uh, and that's one of the reasons we actually designed the Quick Tuck Cloud to ride straight up and down. Gotcha. So you can wear it in the appendix position. Because you have that option. You do. You okay. do. You can wear it around your hip as well, but you can move it around to the front and wear it as an appendix holster because it's what we call a neutral cant. Gotcha. So it's straight up and down. And that's not an adjustable thing. Not, not on this, this one. We, we do have some adjustable holsters like yeah. that. Um, but. And we do have holsters designed specifically for appendix carry. Sure. And going forward, what you're going to see is a lot of neutral cant holsters or adjustable holsters because that appendix carry position is so popular. Gotcha. Now, you got one more here. Yeah, this, this one's one? a little bit more of a departure for us. Um, it is also hybrid construction, but this one's ballistic nylon and leather. And this is an outdoorsman's holster. Um, okay. This is called the Switchback. It is suitable for strong side or cross draw, depending on how you thread your belt through the gotcha. loops. You that and option. it's also completely ambidextrous. You can reverse this strap for left-handed use. Um, but it is a, you know, your basic holster 
for the outdoorsman. You know, maybe you're camping, you're going fishing, you're, you know, going for a hike. You just want to throw on a gun, you're going to be outdoors. Right. And we make it for bigger guns if you're using it for handgun hunting, things like that. Yeah. Um, but it has been a great seller for us since it came out. It's a very reasonably priced holster. Okay. And extremely durable, but also versatile, like I said, ambidextrous, strong side cross draw, um, fits a tremendous number of guns because it's not specifically molded. Right. Um, and it comes more as sizes. Probably a good place to start for anybody who says, you know, I'm doing some hiking. I want to be able to carry something with me. Exactly. This is going to be easy. It's going to fit your gun. It's going to be comfortable to wear. Correct. Easy to easy to manipulate and get the gun out. Right. And if you want to wear it here, you want to wear it there, you're left-handed. Yeah. It'll accommodate all those things. And for a much lesser price point than, say, one of our premium leather holsters. Sure. Sure. So a yeah. place to start. Exactly. And okay. this has been great for us. Another question, KJ? ask uh what about sweeping the muzzle when you pull from the uh shoulder holster seems like a big drawback um any training thoughts yeah there are from shoulder holster yeah, yeah th and that's a great question and one that we do get a lot um so what you want to do when you draw from a shoulder holster and it's a pretty specific set of movements but what you want to do is bring your your offside arm across yeah. this also helps protect your neck in a get it out close of range fight right and that will have the effect of moving the holster so it's almost like so. Oh, sure, it kind of right. really moves. So then when you draw, when you execute your draw stroke, you're not necessarily sweeping everybody yeah. like this, and you're not sweeping your own arm, and that's also very important. You don't want to put a round through your brachial artery because no, you know, you'll, you'll probably lose the gunfight. <laughs> <laughs> you, you lost the gunfight to yourself. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's not a good way to do it. So a lot of that is very technique driven, and again, it's shrugging the shoulders in like so yep. and getting that holster and gun close to this hand. So that and then you you're just it. coming straight out. Exactly. You're just coming out, and it's at that point, it's just like drawn from a belt holster. Sure. Then you're there. Yep. So probably, that's a great tip, probably a training thing that you can kind of work on. Um, do you guys have any videos, instructional video kind of stuff about the different holsters on we your do, website? We do. We uh, do. On our website and on our YouTube channel. Um, and we have instructional videos about exactly what we just discussed Perfect. about shoulder holsters. Um, we have videos about belt holsters, inside the waistband holsters, okay. all those things. Okay. So to find out more, where do they go? GalcoGunLeather.com. Easy. GalcoGunLeather.com. Mike, thanks for being with us. My and pleasure. Thanks for watching Gun Talk Live presented by Palmetto State Armory. We'll be back with more in just a little bit. Live from SHOT Show, presented by Palmetto State Armory. For more great gun content, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. You can always watch the Gun Talk channels on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. And of course, you can always find us at guntalk.com. Thanks for watching.